Well, hey, 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 good looking. You want to see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine and swing on in my kitchen and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, I'm going to sit there and show you how to make homemade elderberry cough drops. So, grab a hold of that vine and let's get cooking. Good looking. Add one and one fourth cups of sugar in a saucepan. Half a cup of that elderberry syrup we made. and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now go ahead, mix this all up. This over to the stove, bring it to a simmer and simmer it for 15 to 20 minutes or until it reaches a temperature of 300. Let's go ahead and prepare some of these silicone candy molds. Now these are going to be perfect size for little cough drops or you could use one of these square molds as well that some people use as ice cubes but just don't fill them up all the way. You might want to fill them up one fourth of the way. But in any case you're going to want to sit there and lightly spray these silicone molds with some cooking spray. So let's go ahead and spray these up. Over on the stove and it's just starting to come up slightly to a boil. Here it is right off the stove. Now I'm going to sit there and grab something to make it a little bit easier for me to transfer the cough drops into the molds. Okay, let's grab some of the cough drop syrup and commence filling up each one of these little molds. I'll see you when I'm all done filling up all of these molds. Okay, let's get them out of the molds. So, they should just easily, yep, pop out as such. So, I'm going to continue on molding my elderberry cough drops. And that's how easy it was to make your very own elderberry cough drops. And if you liked what you saw here today, go down below, hit that like button. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. And if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell. That way you always be notified every time I do put on a new video. And most of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And y'all come back now. You hear?